Welcome back to another episode of Inside Access Control sponsored by SIA. I'm very excited today to have Yara Listenson join me. He's with VXG. Uh, and from what I understand from speaking to people from his company, he's the, uh, the expert when it comes to AI and, and depth of knowledge. And I'm excited to have you come on board and, and have a conversation. So thank you for doing that. Thank you so much for having me here. And um, I'm very excited to uh, share my experience in AI and video. Uh, maybe let me introduce myself first. Uh, my, name yeah, is yeah, my name is Yaro Lisitsen. My name is I'm a co-founder and CEO at uh, VXG. Um, it's my third startup in this space. Uh, I started uh, my career in the industry in 2000, and my first startup was uh, focused on IP cameras. This is where I learned a lot about IP video and uh, surveillance in general. Our second startup was in computer vision uh, space. This, this is basically what is now called artificial intelligence, but at that time it was called um, it was called uh, computer vision. Uh, it was a little early for artificial intelligence. We started our company in 2009, and we were uh, a little bit underestimating the complexity of artificial intelligence and generally the use cases. However, that was exciting experience. And now when we, uh, I and my team, when we knew a lot of things about the IP camera side or about surveillance world and also about artificial intelligence world, this is when we decided that we will build a bridge actually between those two worlds. And this is the idea behind VXG. VXG is a bridge between the world of IP cameras or the world of IP video surveillance and the world of artificial intelligence. Interesting. Okay. So it bridges those two together. Um, uh, and it can, if you could speak to a little bit about what exactly does that mean? So when, when you say artificial intelligence, let's start from the elementary side of it, if you would, because uh, you and I were talking about before we got on recording, you know, if I was to ask anybody if they want artificial intelligence, what do they think about big data, IoT, everyone's like, yeah, 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 I want all of that. And they're like, all right, what are you going to do with it? And then, you know, most companies, if they're, if they've been around, they have a long list of things that they need to build and get done. And maybe they don't have the expertise internally, whatever it might be, but you're not seeing it necessarily. Like there's not a big shining, I, I can see it in video, but like when it comes to access control and some of these other, there isn't like this big shiny thing you can point to and be like, that's AI, there it is, there it is. So talk to me about what the bridge is that you talk about, but then if you could also, if you look at sort of your, your, uh, your, your close sister of access control, mm -hmm. um, if you were to look at that industry, what are some examples that you can think about where AI could be applied that you've applied it, um, maybe in a different use case? Yeah, it's a great question. And this is basically the idea behind VXG. We are trying to uh, build a bridge between those two worlds, the worlds uh, that are using uh, different uh, vocabulary. Uh, they are seeing things completely differently. When we are talking to people in artificial intelligence, they very often use the um, uh, word like uh, big data or uh, uh, neural networks, this kind of things. When you're talking to someone in video surveillance, they only care about how we can replace people and uh, teach machines to watch video instead of human beings. So basically from the uh, utilization standpoint, from video surveillance standpoint, everyone understands that there is no way to watch all the video that is currently produced uh, by surveillance cameras. Uh, just a simple example, uh, uh, a mall here in the downtown Toronto, one single mall has 5,000 cameras. There is no way for human beings to just watch that video. So the question is, uh, the question that the surveillance industry is asking uh, very often, so how can we generally utilize that data. Who is going to watch that, that data? And can artificial intelligence help doing that? So again, from the video surveillance standpoint, it's how to utilize computers to watch video. 
this is okay. where we see a need in artificial intelligence. Yeah, so uh, in some cases, like I, when I hear that and I use Mr. Martin, my elementary mind of understanding it, and it, it sounds like, you know, data processing more or less, right? Um, so as I look at access control, so maybe a good place where historically, uh, you know, take log files, for instance, in access control, like history of door opening, door closing, uh, you know, it, it, anomalies, things like that, the ability to maybe take that data and to be able to process it to, to derive at maybe some um, uh, use, uh, not use case, but maybe derive to some, some conclusions on maybe usage or maintenance needs or, um, you know, is there all of a sudden, you know, this door that we've never used before, all of a sudden getting a lot of people and why, like digging into it. My, my, my question, my biggest thing and desire when I get to the, where I'm hoping AI gets us into, and maybe you're seeing it on the video side, but it's, it's around predictive capabilities because, you know, security and access control does a really good job of after something bad happens, there's some stuff you could look at the recorded or maybe it triggers an alarm to go off. But this ability to do things before they happen, I got to believe our systems need to get to the point where that happens. And that's going to be a large value proposition. I probably underestimate the difficulty of that happening, which rightfully, I mean, I'm not an engineer. Um, so, you know, in the business end, it's like, yeah, yeah, I want that. Um, but I, what, are, what are your thoughts on some of the, you know, like log files being a good case, that my ideas, you know, and thoughts around predictive side of even video? What, what are your thoughts there? So generally, there are three ways how artificial intelligence is used in video. One is to trigger events. The second is to generate statistics. And the third is search in video storage. So let's talk about the events first. Events, obviously, when something has happened, you need to get an event, you need to get an alarm, an abandoned bag, or someone fell, or something like that. So this should be some dangerous situation, and I would say um, recognizing those uh, cases is one of the uh, use case. However, the problem with artificial intelligence is that it's not ideal and you have a lot of false alerts and this generally um, ends up in not very good user experience. And I would say that event-based artificial intelligence is still not uh, broadly used. However, statistics is different. If you have one single error in statistics, then statistically maybe it doesn't really matter. So you can all, always have some, let's say, deviation. You may have some errors, but at the end of the day, the statistics is still accurate. So I would say that statistics is today probably number one use case, and I will give you several examples. The examples that work uh, at a scale, and they also work uh, based on our platform, uh, examples like people counting in a retail store. People counting is one of fundamental metrics and you can uh, derive a lot of uh, other uh, retail metrics just from people counting. So you have, for example, uh, number of transactions from your POS system. You have number of people from AI that is um, processing video from a camera. You can see your conversion ratio, you can see your staff performance, you can optimize your uh, retail store operations and save a lot of money. So this is, I would say, everything that is related to statistics is today number one uh, use case. COVID introduced a new use case, which is called occupancy. Again, it is based on people counting, but now you can say uh, generally calculate occupancy in a store and you can see whether your staff was I would say doing the right job of letting people in or asking people to wait and so on. And the third uh, is search. Search is also something that is more or less tolerant uh, to our errors. I would say that the events are less tolerant. Statistics is the most tolerant to errors search is um, relatively tolerant uh, to errors. 
search in the storage. Again, I would say that this is maybe not as often used as statistics, but this is something that uh, uh, especially law enforcement is very interested in. It's, for example, when you need to find certain faces in a storage or you need to find a car BMW with this plate number in a storage. This is another example. So again, just to summarize, I would say that there are three use cases, um, events, statistics, and search. Gotcha. Okay, that's a good summary and that, that, that gives it in sort of practical bites, if you would, of what to do. Um, I, I guess if I'm a, a new person or company to, you know, yes, I'm bought in, I want to do AI. Um, would those be the three areas that you would uh, suggest that you go and start? Like say you pick search is going to be the area that we go and building the use case around that. Like what, what is your suggestion on uh, if I want to start doing this? Well, it really depends on what is your uh, business value of your startup. Uh, let's say I know uh, very successful companies that are just focused on search, uh, selling the products to law enforcement, selling products to some monitoring companies. Uh, the value proposition is very clear. Instead of watching uh, huge storages of video, you can just uh, type something in the um, like a search, uh, 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 search uh, area, so search box, and you can uh, instantly find uh, what you need. So you are uh, saving a lot of uh, labor uh, through that uh, offer. Uh, I know very successful companies, and I would say that most of the companies. Uh, currently on the market that are using uh, artificial intelligence with video, they are in retail space. So the companies that are helping retailers to optimize uh, their operations. It could be, as I said, just people counting. It could be much more than that. For example, um, your staff performance. You need to recognize staff versus uh, customers. You need to understand how staff is serving the customers. You need to know what are the queue length uh, at the checkout. How long does it take to uh, select a product? How long does it take to pay for it? So this is, I would say, the most of the successful companies that I know, they are either in retail analytics space or in fast food chain, uh, let's say um, optimization or business insight space. Um, I know quite successful companies in uh, uh, parking lot uh, monitoring or parking lot management space, also helping uh, with parking a lot management uh, using artificial intelligence and video. Yeah, I really think the, uh, the out of the ones that you said there, they're all relative, but the one that you, you mentioned that I, I think on the access control side is going to have the biggest impact is around the business analytics and, um, and, and figuring out how to utilize the data that comes out of our systems to, um, frankly, just make things better, smarter, faster, um, and, and, and really centered around data information and, and the ability to process them versus just being, a, you know, the, the place where you manage who can get in, who can get out, and then get a log file. So I, if uh, somebody wants to find out more information about you and your company, where's the best place to do that? So the best place to find information is on our website. Our website is videoexpertsgroup.com or you can just search uh, by VXG. Uh, we uh, generally uh, give uh, our customers or someone who is interested in our technology a free trial. So people are coming and using us for free for 30 days. So you can see the value, you can see what we can do. If someone is interested in some specific artificial intelligence, we have a lot of partners in video AI space. We can always find someone who will build a boutique AI solution for you. Yeah, so if you're looking for video, you're looking for uh, analytics and AI within video, artificial intelligence, uh, you, you all are a very good option for people to take a look at. So 
Jarl, thank you very much for taking the time. I know it's a, that's sort of a, a beginner's guide to artificial intelligence and that, but I think it's important because then we need to talk about it more in our industry. So thank you for taking the time. It's great to meet you and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank, thank you. you.